Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about the stages of meuses. This will be the first quarter topic and learning competency number 5. This lesson is under the Matatag In establishing purpose of the lesson for unlocking the content vocabulary, the teacher will use the match type. Meiosis is a form of cell division that produces haploid sex cells or gametes with a single copy of each chromosome from diploid cells with two copies of each chromosome. Meiosis involves DNA replication followed by two successive nuclear and cellular division, the meiosis 1 and the meiosis 2. The following are the stages of meiosis. The stages of meiosis 1 is the propase 1. So the chromosomes here are already duplicated at the beginning of the propase 1. So each chromosome consists of two sister chromatids that are attached through the centromer to each other. So in a loop, called the synapses, the chromosome pair with their homologous ones, once inherited chromosome from the father and one inherited chromosome from the mother is made of a pair homologous chromosome. So this is a commonly referred to as a tetrad. Since it consists of four chromatids, during the latter part of the stage, there will be the crossing over of the exchange of genetic material between homologous chromosome and it refers to the darker and lighter shades. The second stage of meiosis 1 is the metaphase 1. So the paired homologous chromosomes aligned at the equatorial plate where the spindle fibers are completely formed. The arrangement of the paired chromosomes is random. The third stage of meiosis 1 is the anaphase 1. So each member separates from the other and moves to the opposite pool of the homologous pair. Random events are the positioning of each pair of homologous ones at the equator under corresponding direction of motion. No matter which partner moves to which pool, it does not matter. And the last stage of meiosis 1 is the telophase 1. Two daughter cells are produced which only one chromosome of the homologous pair being present in each daughter cell. This means that there is only a haploid chromosome number in each daughter cell. After the stage of meiosis 1, the cell will replicate again. 
So the first stage of meiosis 2 is the prophase 2. So this is the step following the cell division in telophase 1. So in this step, there is no DNA replication. At the centromere, the sister chromatids of each chromosome are still attached. The second stage of meiosis 2 is the metaphase 2. On an equatorial plate, each chromosome aligns with each other. The third stage of meiosis 2 is the anaphase 2. So it is where the centromeres divide and each chromosome sister chromatids move toward each pole separately. The last stage of meiosis 2 is the telophase 2. So the division of cells is complete here. So they contain four haploid cells. This means that there is a haploid number of single-stranded chromosomes for each gamete after the cytokinesis. For the summary of meiosis, Four daughter cells are formed by one parent cell, each receiving half the number of chromosomes from its parent cell. Every daughter cell is genetically distinct from each other due to the crossing over. Importance of meiosis in the life cycle of animals. During fertilization, gametes such as eggs and sperm unite, forming a diploid zygote. Gametogenesis is the production of gametes from haploid precursor cells. One set of chromosomes from the male parent and another set from the female parent are required for the zygote. In humans, through their gametes, both father and mother contribute 23 chromosomes each. The zygote therefore has 46 chromosomes. A zygote breaks several times. A new diploid multicellular organism is created by this. In male animals, sperm cells are produced in the testis. Meiosis develops four very small but equally sized cells. These cells become sperm or spermatozoa. In the head of the sperm, the nucleus is located. In the middle section that ties the head to the tail, mitochondria are found. This mitochondria provides the energy for the tail of the sperm to move. In female animals produce eggs in the ovary. When the cell in the ovary undergoes meiosis, new cells which differ in size are produced. Two cells, one large and one small, are manufactured after meiosis 1. From the first big cell, meiosis 2 creates one big and one small cell. It may or may not divide the small cell that is created from meiosis 1. If it does, it generates two small cells. The big cells become the cell of the egg. The tiny cells disintegrate. At the beginning of its development, the egg cell contains a lot of stored food that is used by the developing embryo. The tiny sperm cell contributes only its genetic material contained in the head during the fertilization. After the discussion, for the work example, the learners will identify and label the stages of meiosis.
after the modeling stages of MIUSES. For the objectives, the students will be able to model the key stages of MIUSES using manip manipulatives, demonstrating their understanding of the differences between the two cell division processes. generalizations for the learners takeaways the students will answer the key wl chart so using the graphic organizer the students will answer the l column or what they have learned about the given term and to evaluate the learning of our students so we are using the multiple choices 